Solar Fox, the new video game where speed and strategy are all you have to fly through 26 changing solar fields. And if you're really fast, awesome. you'll skip ahead to even tougher fields. Oh my God. Solar Fox from CBS Electronics. But can I drive now? Where the excitement <laughs> never ends. Solar Fox for the Atari 2600. I had no idea this was even an arcade game back in the day. I've never seen Solar Fox, the arcade game. First time I ever played it was, of course, in MAME. And it's it's actually a pretty fun game. Uh, it's not a bad arcade game at all. It's it's pretty challenging. And one of the things I like are the sound effects in the game. I really, I really dig the sound effects. The gameplay is actually kind of cool as well. Where you're flying around the screen collecting these uh, panels and uh, as you collect all the panels you advance to another screen and every so often you'll get a challenge screen where you try to collect everything on the screen within a certain amount of time to get bonus points and it's it's there's not a whole lot i could say about the arcade game that i don't like it's actually kind of a cool arcade game i like to actually find one out in the wild someday and actually play the actual arcade game because i really think the artwork it's really cool on this arcade machine. I dig the bezel uh, on the arcade machine quite a bit. Anyway, we're going to talk about Solar Fox for the 2600. Now, CBS Electronics toned down the game quite a bit on the 2600. Uh, you're still collecting those little solar panel things, like in the arcade game. You do have two different speeds, like the arcade game, slow and fast. But on the 2600 version, you're not able to shoot. I think that's unfortunate because, you know, that, it helps a lot in when you're playing this game uh, to avoid the little missiles that the enemies are shooting at you because you can shoot them in the arcade game to avoid them. This one you cannot. And sometimes they'll lay down a barrage of fire that you just cannot avoid, so you're going to die regardless. Anyway, I digress. Pretty cool looking box. So CBS Electronics made some really cool boxes for their games. I really dig the artwork. Yeah, it's really nice looking. This box is pretty beat up though. This one I picked up off eBay a few weeks ago. This one came down from Canada. Got a good deal on it. Uh, to the point now where a lot of the games I'm missing in my collection for making these arcade uh, Atari, uh, Atari K2600 videos are going for a lot more money now. They're harder to get like, you know, Bump and Jump and and uh, Mondo's, uh, Mr. Dew's Castle and some other ones. Crazy Climber is another one. I don't ever see me ever getting those things in my collection. So when I get to those videos, it'll just be pictures of boxes and stuff like that instead of having the actual box. Unless someone out there has one and they can make like a little video of unboxing like uh, Papa Pete did from a Double Dragon video. Anyway, back to Solar Fox. Solar Fox. On the back, it shows the game screen, very representative of uh, the game itself. It's a good-looking game on the 2600. It plays really well. Speed your starship through 26 perilous solar energy fields with fireballs hot on your tail. Featuring the skip a rack timer. So basically, if you complete this rack before this timer expands, it'll allow you to skip ahead in the game give you all the points and stuff for those to skip levels which which is a really cool gameplay feature of course we have a little story here on the back you know i love these stories on these boxes on a daring mission to save an energy star of earth you must navigate your starship through a complex matrix of precious solar cells the faster you clear the matrix the greater your reward ominous sentinels oscillate along the perimeter and riddle the energy field with fireballs their slightest touch will reduce your starship to ashes. Defenseless, you must weave in and out of their path until the last solar cell is secured. The action gets hotter and hotter as you encounter more dangerous and devious solar cell matrices. But the supreme test awaits you in the mysterious challenge racks, where expert skill will enable you to learn the ultimate secret of your mission. Can you dare to the end if there ever is one? Yeah, there is a little secret thing in this game and it deals with 
getting decals. Now, I've not seen a set of these decals yet. I've been searching on the internet trying to find pictures of the six different decals that you can, you can obtain. But there's a way you had to do it to obtain the decals. And the way you did it is every time you completed a challenge rack in this game, you would get a word, a letter. And you will fill out this box with the letters you get to reveal the secret word. You would send this in, and they would send you a set of those decals. Now, if you have pictures of these decals, man, share them with me or something. Or if you have a video that you made showing the decals, I'd like to see it as well. It's kind of cool. Get a set of six, Solar Fox, where the excitement never ends. Of course, in the box we have the quintessential CBS electronics cartridge, gray. These are definitely easy to pick out among all the black cartridges on the shelves or the white Coleco ones. I like how CBS went for a different color design on their, uh, their cartridges just to make them stand out a little bit more. And of course we have a full color manual. Oh yeah! with that same artwork from the front of the box. So we got some different game modes here. We have uh, one player, two player game. We also have a parent play mode, which is a very, very simple gameplay mode where you don't have any challenge racks and you're limited to the first six uh, levels of the game. But it's a super easy version of the game to allow you know parents to have fun with their for the kids playing this game. Mission Survival. Earth has just about had it. Solar Fox. Centuries of waste have brought us to the brink of global war for control of what precious energy resources we have left. There's only one chance for peace. You! In a far corner of the galaxy hover vast, intricate formations of solar energy cells guarded by ominous fireball shooting sentinels. Your mission is to navigate through those matrices and capture those cells. The faster your speed, the greater your reward. Your starships utilize advanced gyro directional technology, but the only weapon you have is your skill as a pilot. And the supreme test of that skill will take place in the infamous Challenge Racks, where you attempt to unravel the ultimate mystery of your mission. Good luck, Solar Fox. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the speed control, the way that works, you... Uh, you can either set it two different ways. You set your difficulty switches to A or B for A for fast cruise speed, B for slow cruise speed. And then when you hit the button, either it'll slow you down or it'll speed you up. It's best to go as fast as you can to clear the rack. It shows the gameplay screen there. You got the solar matrices. The sentinels who run around on the sides of the screen, the top and the bottom. They shoot at you. The skip a rack timer course Star Fox himself and of course here's the challenge racks what they look like just like from the arcade game you got a little timer here at the bottom so you got to collect all those before that timer expires in order to advance and get some uh, more points and also to get that that letter to set up for the decals Of course, you have uh, the scoring back here. Racks 1 to 5, 100 points, and this gets higher from there. Strategy hints. Learn to use and rely upon your speed control button. Maybe the only thing that stands between you and a many, many deadly collision. Yeah. Yeah, definitely don't hover around the matrix perimeters. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go ahead and fire this game up, and we'll watch how badly I do. All right, Solar Fox, and away we go. Hit the reset here. Wreck one. We're gonna go fast. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I really wish you could shoot, cause man, these guys throw fireballs like crazy at you. So wreck one complete. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Oh! I really dig the graphics in this game. Oh, no, you don't. Let 
Yeah, CBS did a pretty good job with this. Oh, man. Well, well he's not going to get very far in this game, I can tell you that. Probably ain't going to make it to the first challenge rack. Got three more racks to go to get there. Oh, man. I got past and I ran right into it. Game over, dude. <laughs> well, I got to rack three. All right, try it again. See if I can beat the timer. Oh, yeah, I did. Awesome. Yep, skip back to rack three. Oh, don't run into him. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Rack four. Oh, ah. Oh, Got just a little crazy there. There we go. One more rack and I get to the challenge rack. Don't run in. Oh, you st Whoa. There we go. Finally got to the challenge rack. How quickly can I complete this rack? Challenge. Go, around, go, around. go, 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 go. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, yeah. Huh. Solid Kool-Aid, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, I got 17,800 that time. Oh, got one more guy left. Oh, that's it. Rack six, 17,800 points. This is actually a pretty good game. Let's, see if I, let's try another game here. See if I can beat my score. Try to beat 17,800. And I'm not off to a good start. I mean, it is a very fun game. I really like it. It's pretty enjoyable. Like I said, I just wish it had the ability to fire. So you can shoot those fireballs. There we go. Speed up. Vroom. Oh. oh. Ran right into it. What a bummer. <laughs> anyway, that Solar Fox. Fairly decent translation of the arcade game to the 2600 by Belly Midway. It's a pretty cool game. Anyway, as always, everyone, thanks for watching.